guys and welcome. We are going to be doing Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. Up to this point, I have been playing the other Mech Warrior series. We did Mech Warrior 3 on stream a little while back. I can't really get 4 to function properly, so maybe sometime we'll come back to it and we can do a playthrough of that. But for now, recently got my hands on Mech Warrior 5 and thought, hey, why not? Let's just, let's just do it and see what happens, right? So I I can't do uh, a cam setup for this. My computer just simply is not strong enough in order to, to uh, do camera encoding and the game encoding at the same time. But, eh, you know, it is what it is. And we work with what we got. All right. I am a very large MechWarrior fan. I've played MechWarrior for many years. MechWarrior 3 was one of the very first games I really ever played and got me into gaming in the first place. So I do know quite a bit about the MechWarrior franchise, MechWarrior World, the Inner Sphere versus the Clanners. I am Team Inner Sphere personally. And let's check this out. I did do uh, just one little uh, instant action just to make sure you know that my settings and recording and whatnot was going to work properly but i have not touched anything campaign wise oh on setting my keybinds and all that fun stuff right it is recommended that new mech warriors new mech warrior games to play the tutorial learn the mechanics uh do we want to do that is it necessary for the story though Sure, why not? Let's see what we got. Tutorial. In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slowed. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another, engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the great houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the inner sphere, dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Max. The year is now 3015, and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenaries' trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. All right. That was, that was, that was kind of sick. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I don't quite remember though. So 3015, he said the year, like 3015. Timeline wise, I can't, this makes me feel like this takes place well before uh, MechWarrior 4's storyline for like MechWarrior 4 mercenaries. Uh, the, uh, I forget the name of that war that was in that one. Oh, that's right. We play a person in this one. Like, we actually have, like... Captain Mason, please report to the hangar for testing. The Centurion is waiting for you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, my God. The look speed is intense. Okay, we're going to turn that down a bit. Okay. Okay. There's it. You can hear it if you have headphones on the music pan side to side. Is there a. Has somebody got a speaker going on inside the shower? Hell yeah. Good on you, man. Okay. This is cool. Anyways, what I was saying 
So this must take place before the the great uh, Fedcom Civil War. That's what it was, right? And Macquarie Four, the Fedcom. Hello. Is that a commando? That's not a commando. It's too big. There you are. Come on, everyone's waiting. Get to okay. the centurion at the far end of the hangar, and we'll get started. Nikolai Mason. Okay. Interesting use of the floor effect to help the uh, the details. Oh, that's cool. I remember in uh, MechWarrior 4 Vengeance, you got to see that the toes of the mechs were actually miniature trucks. So that they could move the mechs around the hangar without actually having to turn the mech on. Which I thought was a cool little tidbit detail. Can I? Can I go up this? Ah! I kind of want to look at this mech close up. Sick. Oh, I can zoom in. Whoa. So it looks like he took a hell of a shot for the torso. He's all kinds of... He's got scarring everywhere. Must have took a, some missile barrages. Got some missile boats on the horizon. Is this us? Are we driving this guy? Piloting, sorry. Awesome. I'm not actually sure what kind of mech that is. Oh, hell yeah. That's really cool. All right, son. Fahad wants us to run the Centurion through its paces to see how it does. I was so close. Spent months okay. getting it operational again after we recovered it from that ruined factory on Ramen Two. What a bloody shit all that place was. Hopefully nothing explodes during the test, mate. I'm pretty confident you won't need to eject. No promises, though, way. <laughs> He's joking, I think. Go on and power her up. I like how they have him kind of sound like, uh, almost kind of like a throwback to Dominic Payne from MechWarrior Three. Also, I said, uh, Commando, or Commander, Commando before, I was thinking of, uh, Clint and, uh, Centurion from MechWarrior 3 Parts Moon. Good. Fahad? Yeah, bring it up the systems now. Okay, armor and structure display up. Weapon systems up. Tactical display up. Sick. Everything looks good to go. Keep in mind there's parts on that mech that are at least 200 years old. So ease it forward slowly, and we'll see how it goes. And 200. don't forget to hit the brake once you're clear of the hangar. Look at her go, right? That's my girl. She's a beauty, isn't she? Certainly is. Okay, engage reverse throttle and navigate into the waypoint I've set up. Use your tactical display to see where you're going. Huh? Eh? Oh, just go backwards. Nice work. Okay. Now revert to your drone cam. Let's go ahead and do a left-right rotation test. Oh, you mean physically too. Okay, now let's make sure the torso is working properly. Try looking around in all directions. Good. As you can see, the torso rotates independently from the legs. Mm -hmm. Your direction of movement, therefore, may differ from the direction you're actually looking. If you check your tack screen, you can see your current leg orientation is represented by the dotted line, and your torso orientation is represented by the cone. Looking good. The mobility course is next. Show me how fast you can get through those turns while still hitting each of the waypoints. 
Huh? Oh. It's over there. Okay. Oh, that's going to be the next one. Okay. I'm really curious if this game is going to have a Solaris style game mode in it the way that MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries did. Because that was by far my favorite thing. Probably my favorite thing, MechWarrior in general, just overall. Nice work. The Centurion was made to have a good balance between speed and firepower. All we have to do now is find out if the weapon systems work. Wait, why is... Boy, what do you mean if the weapons work? You know how long I spent stripping each one of those components and putting them back together again? They'll bloody well work, mate. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go shoot some stuff. Cool. Follow me. Why is the AC-10? You know, back when I was your age, I once slammed the hunchback I was piloting right into my instructor's javelin. Oh man, was he pissed. Come on, Jameson. Yeah, go ahead, Rihanna. Thought you'd want to know that all repairs to the Leopard have been completed. We're now spaceworthy and ready to take on our next contract. How's the kid faring? Huh. He's a natural, just like his old man. I see humility is still in short supply. Oh, is as this usual? Is this our dad? Just don't break that mech. We need it in full working order. Oh, what was that? What just? <laughs> What was that? Did you walk into the... Okay. Oh, I see. Weapon systems are now online, gents. Be gentle, hey. Always, my friend. Check out the detail, shall we? Yeah, right. That's a lot of bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> All right. I've mapped the auto cannon to weapon group one. Why? You're free to fire whenever you're ready. Why is it in weapon group one? All right, how accurate is this? If I aim straight at the D, ah, what do we got? Well, the D's gone. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Okay, take note of your That's ammo cool. levels. Always remember to manage your reserves. You run out of shells in the middle of a firefight. It could be your last one. Reserves? I have 77 Reserves shots. Weapon group two. Fire them when ready. Oh. Oh, I love that. All right. Oh, that's, that's it? Good enough. Ah. Those lasers generate significant heat. You can see the temperature readout next to your armor and structure display. All weapons generate heat when fired. You overheat your mech during a firefight, and it could trigger a shutdown, so keep that in mind. Override engaged. Now Eat for it. the fun stuff. Long-range missiles are set to weapon group three. The target lock has been disabled for the moment, but never mind that. Just go ahead and fire at will. Okay. Let's see how much damage we can do, I guess. Wait, can I fire the lasers again? track unless you have a target lock on something. Yep, they're as dumb as a post without it. Well, let's try targeting a drone first, and this time before you fire your LRMs. Target acquired. It makes a hell of a difference having that target lock, doesn't it? Next step is to test moving and firing at the same time. Okay. I've set up a series of aerial targets for you. Move through the aerial combat course as quickly as you can and shoot the drones down. I'll meet up with you on the other side. But yeah, I hope that there's a Solaris game mode in this, because that would be fantastic. Ah! Target destroyed. So I can't believe he gave me 77 shot, or I guess started with 80. That's a lot of ammo. Target acquired. Target destroyed. 
I'm used to rocking like. Oh, I missed one. I'm used to rocking like 20. Having to manage ammo with that. You guys will see. I tend to run very. Glass cannon builds, let's say. Where I'll pack one or two high powered weapons. And then just really practice not missing. Eat it. Oh. Cool. Well, nice shooting. Now take up a position by the barricade. Okay. I've projected three mechs, each with differing damage profiles. You should see them in the ravine below. Target the first one on your left. You can zoom in on the target for a more accurate shot if you need to. Okay. What do we got? Targeting and telemetry seem to be working. Note the center torso on that first mech. It's reading heavily damaged. Destroying the CT will destroy the mech no matter its relative condition. Go ahead and destroy the center torso. See that second mech? Both legs are heavily damaged. With one leg destroyed, mechs become easy targets. Both legs? <laughs> It's over for them. Mm -hmm. Take out both legs. Gives me flashbacks to... Was it MechWarrior 2? Where if you lost a leg, you just awkwardly stood there? I want to test out something. Will this game pull, or if you keep smacking the same leg, that the mech dies anyways? I don't know if it's just for the tutorial. Also, let me try something else. If I target the foot. Okay, so the missile is kind of spread. Nicely done. The All right. cockpit on that third mech is seriously damaged. It's a difficult shot to make, especially in the chaos of battle. Watch me. But the fastest way to take out a mech is to eliminate the pilot. Go ahead and try shooting the cockpit. I'm not going to hit it with the AC, but I should be able to pinpoint it with the laser ray. Am I missing? Is it lower? There you go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now we're almost done. The battle simulation I've set up for you is the last hurdle. Follow me. You're going to go head to head with an urban mech. They're slow and poor. <laughs> urban mech. Perfect for this particular test. What a meme of a, a mech. Piece of cake for a pilot like you. I remember Urban Mech being legendary in the MechWare online community. Oh, I'm fighting a hologram? Let's go, bro.
You good, bro? I'm following you. Oh, okay. Oh, I did it. When we get back to the base, we'll buy Bod a few beers to say thanks. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, of course we'll have to listen to him gripe about how rough we are on his battle mechs. Small price to pay, I suppose, for having one of the best mechanics in the entire inner sphere. Is this foreshadowing? Is this gonna be like the intro to Mech Warrior 4? Salvage crates at the last checkpoint were empty. Now something's up if they're missing payments. This is Commander Mason of Major Campbell. Make a note. Looks like someone is gonna need a lesson in paying their bills on time. That's odd. What the hell? Commander Mason, I repeat, a massive invasion force is attacking the planet. Acknowledge. I have a visual. We need to take what we have and go. The fastest way is across the swamp. Captain, where are you going? It's possible they left the cash at the last checkpoint in the city. Let's get the money and run, Commander. This is reckless. We need to get back to base. They're distracted with the invasion. We'll be in and out before they know we're here. Let's hope it's not us they're after. Oh, yeah. What could go wrong? Son, this is a ghost town. We're close. I can smell the sea bills. There's nothing here. Relax. We'll be out of here in no time. We're being tagged. Look out! They're coming in. Mason, what's your status? I'm fine, Commander. Left arm is offline is all. That was close. Return to base now. I am not leaving you behind. We were set up, and you're in no shape to fight. Meet me at the extraction point with the Leopard. Go! Now, Captain! Damn it. On the move. Commander, an enemy dropship is approaching your position. I've got eyes on. Identified. Hunchback and King Crab. King Crab? Damn it. Brianna, any idea what these guys want? I picked up some chatter about coordinates of some kind. That mean anything to you? Coordinates? No, Brianna. Promise me you won't leave without Jake. Promise me. Commander, I promise. Sick, actually. Cavaliers need you. 
right things. I just know it.